Hello and welcome back to Time Vault, where we're today playing Undercroft. Now, as we left off, we were lost in the woods, trying to get to Dolbrad to the east. But uh, apparently, the rainstorms have caused the rivers to overflow, so we can't go that way. Uh, we also have this ominous-looking creature around the corner. Uh, let's have a look at that. And it's not moving. Oh! Turns out, the ominous looking creature is just a girl. It might have been a woman who screamed. Yeah, let's mug her. At least now she has a reason to scream. Oh! Wow, she was rich. Thank her. Nice. Yeah, we're making good cash actually from that, uh, from the mugging ability. Sinners, I tell you. Okay. Uh, hello, miss. Ah, oh, a thousand thanks for saving my life. Those beasts had surrounded me and I hadn't enough power to fight back. I couldn't have kept the shield spell working for much longer. Please, wait. I promised to bring these chili peppers to my grandpa. But now I'm afraid to go deeper in the woods. Would you accompany me, please? She needs them for steaks. <laughs> steaks. <laughs> She'll reward you with lots of gold and powerful magical items. Why would your grandma have those things? Oh yeah, whatever. Sure. I mean, she is a magic Where, person. for Farouk's sake, has the girl gone? What kind of hidden meadow is this blood-soaked, bone-covered graveyard? Uh-oh. Distant moaning complete. And we level up. Uh, well, we got off of the economy. And then we can place an additional point into. Um, strength for now. We are using mostly melee attacks, so strength is very good to have. Okay, whistle. You need one more strength, and. Bigger chance to freeze is not bad. It does increase the cost a tiny bit, but we don't need a spell as much if it freezes things. Okay. Yeah, where are we? What the heck is this place? Um, Red, are you sure about this? Hello? I was promised magical items and wealth beyond my dreams. Is anyone here? Uh oh. Hello, handsome. What brings you here? Um, we brought you Red Hood's chili peppers. But Red Hood has disappeared on the way here somehow. I'm so sorry. Oh my! Peppers? And the meat? Did you bring the meat? Ha ha ha! I need meat for the steaks. I can't make them from air, you know. Um, I wasn't told about the meat. I was only told about the peppers. Well, I think we can fix that quickly. <laughs> what? It's a trap! The crone attacks you! <laughs> and Red Riding Hood! I mean, she's not really Red Riding Hood, she's just Red Hood. For reasons. Well, I'll tell you what. Her hood is about to become a lot more red. Skeletons are taking quite a hit, but other than that, we're fine. Uh -huh. These skeletons hit extremely hard. Yeah. Okay. And we got some loot. Spider. That Chance spider was moving on the ground, by the way. Was it? Oh, yeah. But that's kind of... I don't know. <laughs> it's to get two extra skill points. <gasps> Whoa. We can power level someone. Yeah, neither. Yes. Hey, you're transformed anyways. Wanna gain some more skill points? 
Maybe you're not the one who actually needs it the most right now. I'm thinking maybe the mage would need it. Yeah, this sounds cool. Some dancing weapons would be really nice. Let's, uh... Here, you're a wizard anyways. Go ahead and eat this... ...sponge thing. Oh, it's sponge. I thought it was the eye. Nope, the eye was, uh... ...mono replenishment. Um... Yeah, sure, we'll level this as well. Why not? Now we have two summoners. Ish. And the spider shield. Poison resistance. Now for the moment no one really needs that. But I guess we'll give it to... Uh... Yeah, the summoner can have the spider, that kind of makes sense. Oh, is this a shield? 8% of damage to HP. Does that mean it drains health or something? I mean, I'll give it to the warrior, because he hits pretty hard. And then we have a fire shield. Oh, you can't have it, you don't have enough strength. Okay. Extra experience. That seems busted. Yeah, it's why are the assassin? Yeah. Very, very, very bad. Uh, let's drop some weapons. I'm unsure how many we can raise at once, but let's just drop a bunch. Okie dokie. Ah! I see. Oh! Would, would those happen to be stronger than the skeletons? 18 to 28 to 48 HP. Um... No. But we have them now, and they're, they're, they're at max health, I guess. Okay. Well, if the bone economy hits the bottom, you can always use them. Yeah, 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 they're a good fallback. Uh, I'm just sad to see the previous skeletons go. Yeah. Okay. That's a good thing, maybe, because now we can focus all our level ups into the skeletons and forget about the weapon summoning thing. It was a cool idea. Okay, let's see here. We are um, supposed to do several things. We're supposed to hand in the coats and uh, hand in the flag. And we're actually done with a bunch of quests already, so that's cool. Uh, let's head around the back side of the house. Picking berries as we go. I see berries over there. How do I get to them? Oh! That was a creepy sound. We find a very small winged female creature. I think they're called fairies. Uh, trapped in a web, she talks to you with a tiny voice. No! Don't try to help me! It's a trap! If you touch the web, dreadful spiders will come and kill you! Run! I'm lost anyways! I'm freeing the fairy. And immediately get surrounded. Okay, how much damage did this do? Not too shabby, but I'm seeing it. Oops, that's a wasted attack. Um, do you heal from dealing damage? Not sure. Yeah, I think it did actually increase a bit. It will be easy to tell if he isn't hurt in the next few turns. Uh, but it's only a small amount of the damage he deals, though. Yeah, yeah, eight percent. But he, he hits quite hard. Uh, yeah. I say, and then he hits for like nothing. <laughs> Ouch! Ten rounds. <laughs> okay, we're not gonna deal with that. Is the other spider? Yeah, it's back, of course. That hurt me. Okay. It's 
fine. We're not dead yet. Okay. For how long are you poisoned? Six rounds. That's probably okay. Where did the fairy run off to? It just flew off. Ouch. Hold on. How long did you say you were poisoned? One round. The small lady jumps out of a bush. Thank you, brave one. I don't have anything useful for giant folk like you, except for this gem. Its magic power may help you. Farewell. And thus she has disappeared into the woods. Uh -huh. Max HP. And it's a shield. I guess we'll give that to one of the characters with more HP. That would be the summoner or the warrior. Maybe this shield blocks 8% of the damage. I'm not sure. Oh well, here, take this. I'm sorry, spider. Instead. Protection ring. That's probably good to equip. Not sure why I haven't done that before. Extra experience? Where did I get this? Oh, yeah, I remember getting that, but I remember you not checking it out. It's pretty cool. Um, who needs the extra experience right now? Who's like <laughs> under level? Five, oh. five, five. Everyone is pretty much on the same level. Let, let's. Uh... But it has four six. Oh, except for the warrior. I kind of want to give it to the summoner. Like the skeletons are hard carrying, so. Okay. And then we can have more. More resistance. Who needs resistance? Okay, this is all pretty balanced right now. Goody goody. Everyone is strong. And cave. Which is again not a cave, it's just a entrance to more forest. Unless this is supposed to be sort of a cave without a loading screen. These spiders are actually tough. Well, rest in peace weapon, I guess. Now, can we raise arrows into living weapons? I'm not really sure. I think arrows might be classified as ammunition. Something's telling me fire attacks would have been more useful against these enemies. And maybe we should put additional points into strength. Okay. Well, so much for the living weapons, they weren't really that strong. Yeah. Okay, we got some good loot here. Rings and armor and boots. We'll go to equip a ring to you. You need all the armor you can get. And some... Yeah, we have okay armor on everyone else. Okie dokie. Is that all? I think so. Strange. 
Oh, this place is actually all the way down here. Well, there's nothing here. Hi there. Let's uh, refill some of that stamina. And let's create some skeletons. Okay. Oh, you got the water! Perfect! Take these 500 coins as reward. At all? Okay. Nature's Embrace, Vampire Bite. Is the call out or is the call out or is there any good? I think it might be, but we don't really have a lot of mana on our summoner right now. Uh, we spend it all by summoning uh, skeletons and stuff, and maybe transforming sometimes. That's the vampire bite, does that consume stamina? Uh, I think so, yeah. But it is a life draining ability, which is kinda cool. Yeah. I mean, for now we're kind of good with just the healing though. Yeah. I'll just unload some stuff here. Uh, can take uh, this. Now, I could be saving weapons to, to raise more weapons, but I don't think I will. Uh, mostly and, and I don't know if me being paranoid, but uh, maybe it would, and the spider thing is a quest item as well, at some point. I could really be using bows, but I think it deals more damage the more... Huh. You could use it to deal damage to them at range, and then when they get closer, you could use the melee damage again. Yeah, yeah. Problem is, everything gets close like very fast, so I'm not sure how much yeah. that actually helps. True. Okay, let's just get rid of everything here. Blop. Is this a common item? Yeah, I can sell that. Ring of the Survivor is strong. I will save some cool weapons just in case. This one. 6 to 15, 4 to 10. Yeah, they are both pretty strong. Okay. I think we're done. Let's see, we still need to visit the van. Hi there. <laughs> it's good to have the skeletons back. Some actual damage. One Jesus shot. Christ. Wow, two fell from one. Yeah. Uh, these would. The first you carry are great, and it's just enough for a coat for an old man. 400 coins? But they sell for like 150 each, I would it's worth experience, so it's all good in my book. Even stronger skeletons. At some point I think we get diminishing returns on the skeletons. Uh, might consider putting points into creating golems and something instead. 30 HP. They do the elemental damage as well. Yeah, they're kinda cool. I'll, I'll start, start putting points into that. Warrior strong. Warrior dexterous as well, maybe? Range attacks. Ah, uh, maybe not. Uh, so this is an AoE attack, that's pretty cool. Like, everything around you. How about that regeneration ability, though? Whoa. Gives the warrior's blood to a fellow hero. It's a healing ability. 
enemies around the totem take damage every round. Totem. This is very strange. Knocks enemy back if it overcomes enemy's defense. Stamina for each slayed enemy. Uh, that's stamina and not health. I uh. don't think that's useful enough right now. I'm just gonna... Nah. I can save the point, actually. Yeah, I'm not really sure about any of these. Maybe I'll put it in here. There are some equipment that requires both dexterity and strength, after all. Mm. <laughs> oh, Baba Yaga's hut over there. Um, have I been to the south? Feels like we're missing something down here. Oh, I can't even go here. Huh. Okay. We don't have any active quests, so what are we supposed to do now? Uh, have we spoken to everyone? The guy doesn't think to. We're just a merchant. Oh yeah. Um, Funny. We could go further into the temple of Unrak. I'm just surprised no one has given me a task to find anything in there. Or the hole in the ground, you know. Where the fire lizards or whatever. Yes. I'm starting to think they are the same. I think they are the same dungeon, I'm not sure. Uh, let's go to the Summer's place. Oh, no, we've already talked to him. Okay. Right. Let's head out. Temple time. Ah! Someone lives in the temple. I thought it was a dungeon. You enter the temple of the forest monks. Ah, thank Anrax. Finally, some capable adventurer comes to our temple. We have a little problem that can be solved with strong arms and a sharp mind like yours. Several months ago, a strong quake created a pit near our place. Uh, fierce demons from the underground inhabited the pit. We didn't notice that at the beginning, but now they creep out of the damned hole and terrorize us. Our brothers tried to clean the hole, but they failed. We are just old monks, not very resistant in battle. Please take this bag filled with blessed water, find the roots of the demonic power, and sprinkle them with it. That should drive the demons out. Nice. Okay. Back down the pit. We go. Lots of running into walls. What is this? Do we need the water on this? Splash a handful of holy water, vaporizes and you hear distant ground shaking. Ouch. Everyone using uh, their first weapons. Good. Except for the frost damage, but that's fine. Oh, you can deal physical damage to it. Can you spawn around here? Nope. But he still hits at full strength. Yes. Which is good. Head to the corners first, I guess. <gasps> Additional skeletons found. Nice. We are recruiting. How many more uses do you have for that water? I guess infinite. Ice oh, bolt yeah. skill. Hey, that's pretty cool. We can try out the ice bolt. It's very useful oh, down here. It gives resistance as well. Nice. Yeah. Splash a handful of holy water, vapor rises in here, distant ground shaking. Okay, so that pentagram looking thing was... Oh, hi there. I wonder if I attract enemies by... ...sprinkling water everywhere. Let's 
let's see, let's head down. Unfortunately, we don't really do know what that does because we haven't seen any gates or anything either. And finally, the skeleton bites the bone mill dust. But it's okay, we'll have him replaced in no time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I absolutely do summon things when I cleanse those things. Uh, let's have something to drink. Oh yeah, that doesn't take up my turn, so I could have done those two things. It's time for more skeletons. Yeah. <laughs> They're not hanging on for much longer. Either. Rocks. Amazing. I'm rich. Uh... Okay, let's take a moment here. I guess. We'll go with the economy robot for now. Ready for you. And nothing got frozen. My economy strategy has failed me. It's laughing at you. Yeah. It feels kinda hmm, dangerous to Oh, okay, yeah. I can't stick my hand in it and pull out loot because it's moving. That's the second. Can you hit it with a sword or something? No. It's an expert torture, apparently. Okay, that's a cool belt. Dexterity. That's handy. Keep hearing this distant ground shakings, but uh, not really sure where they are coming from. Are we are we done now? Is that all? Nope, we have this as well. And nothing spawns in the near vicinity. Perhaps we'll take this time to stock up on some health and mana. Okay. That's very old. I really thought something would happen when I splashed all of those things. Like we didn't even receive any sort of message or anything. You might have to do the big uh, fire thing on the top, uh, uh, the wall where they block the path as well. Yeah, maybe. Well, I think we're done here, so let's head out. What did those... Huh. 
Oh. Where did this all come from? Well, I've not been in the top. I, I'm pretty sure I've been past here before. Hit against demons. That is cool stuff. Extra experience. Okay. We'll take that. So we already have this that gives extra experience. What if we just like power level this character? Make it super strong. Okay, max SP. This is just the same. But it is a better weapon for now. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, do you have... Yeah, you have cloak. Oh, that circle there. You haven't uh, done that circle. Oh, here, yeah. A terrible voice rumbles through the caves as you vaporize this last evil symbol. Who dares to burn my symbols of power with the spit of those sanctimonious dogs? Well. Ouch. You're not the guy I saw on that image. Just making sure he's not coming around the corner. Okay, I guess this guy is blocking the way out or something. Uh, let's pop the hill. Let's have some cheese. Let's reorganize some shit here. Okay. I think we're ready to go. Hi there. Of course he has range attacks. Right. I could have done that before, but whatever. Damn, he's tanky. We might need some stronger healing, it seems. Yeah. And I'm considering upgrading our max. Max uh, mana as well, but. Okay, we can get the restriction now, but I. Hmm. I'm not sure. Let's. Uh, Keep going for the economy. Yes. Ouch. Why are you only slapping that poor character? Okay, never mind. Go back to hitting my party. Don't hit my skeletons. I need them. Shove some apples. We are running dangerously low on cheese. I never thought I would say in any game. Okay, did it. We get an amulet, which is actually and a quite lot good. Of amulet, another ruby, a deceased spike club. That seems pretty strong. Yeah. An exceptional impaler polearm with a lot of crit chance. That could be something to give to our warrior eventually. Okay. And I think this will be just in time for us to end our episode. I'm gonna quickly go and give this into the priest. Brave hero, you've driven away the forces of evil and we thank you for your mighty deed. Okay. 
they plan to sell a lot of stuff. Some pretty cool stuff. Another adventurous cloak would never hurt. Yeah, it's fine. We have cash to spare. Yeah, I think so. We can save some of these cool weapons for later. For now, at least. There's no real drawback to having them on us. Uh, this and this provides us with protection and... Okay. We spread out our loot in a quite okay-ish way. I like weapons which have a bit more minimum damage. And we really should wrap up this episode now. So, is there anyone we haven't mugged in this forest yet? I don't think so. Uh, the cellar in the middle, right? Mm, nope, I think I've been to him already. Okay. Uh, we can see. We can try it out. It's not a lot of money. I mean, mana. Hi there. Oh, never mind. That's a nice bunch of coins. And we'll stock up on some shiz. And... I mean, the bread is... Not that useful, right? Okay, so that's all right. Okay. And that will do it for this episode. And in the next episode, I'll just keep selling stuff. Stopping. In the next episode, we're gonna attempt to open up this blocked road using the rubies we found in the cellar. I have an idea of where they go. Right, that's been everything for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time in the Time Vault. <laughs>